Hi friends and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're talking about the latest release of Charlotte Tilbury. She just released the quick and easy makeup kits. There are five options available and I decided to choose date and night and I also purchased two separate sticks. So one for eyes that is pretty fresh and then the other one is for lips and cheeks. Super chic. I'm quite happy with my purchase because I already tried them. So this is not going to be a first impression review. I'm going to show you close-ups and swatches of the product in natural light and then I'm going to be using them on my face and since I purchased from Charlotte Tilbury's website I was able to choose some lovely samples and I'm also going to show you at the end of this video swatches of the Hollywood Flawless filter. I have six swatches to show you and then I also have a mini sample of the serum which I already tried in a bigger size bottle. I'm going to give you my thoughts on at the end of the video in case you're interested in her magic serum crystal elixir and for the first time I was able to try also her collagen super infusion facial oil so I'm going to share with you my thoughts on that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty join the fun subscribe and leave me a comment if you have already tried any of those products. I would love to communicate with you. If you're returning welcome back dear friends. Let me know what you think. A lot of you commented that this kit actually looks like a um, box of cigarettes. I never smoked actually in my life so I didn't get this um, association didn't come to my mind but you're right it looks very elegant it looks like a box of cigarettes now i'm going to tell you straight away i really love this release from charlotte tilbury the products are gorgeous and i want to show you the box in my opinion this kit is actually very useful i know that when i travel i'm going to just get this one i really like it because i like easy and quick makeup looks this is right away a favorite so it opens from here it opens very quickly and inside we have a mirror and we have the three products so one is the easy eye wand, the other one is the easy lip and cheek wand and then the other one is the easy highlighter wand. Now I have to warn you, the first time when I opened this and when I started taking the products out, they were very hard to take out but that was only the first use, probably the first couple of uses and after that when I started using it, there is no problem to take them out. So I just take them out very effortlessly, as you can see. But the first time when you start, um, when you open it, you might be a little bit surprised, especially if you have long fingernails, you might experience some difficulty. So just be patient to take out the product for the very first time. After that, when you start taking them out, the second time, it's not a problem to pick up the product, but the first time you might be a little bit frustrated. I was like, what's happening why can't i take out the product it's really hard to take out the product the first time but that's only the first time so now if you decide to purchase the whole kit the wands come without protective cap here you can see i'm taking out the wand and it doesn't have a protective cap there is no lid on the products but if you decide to purchase the products separately they come with a protective lid so in case you don't want to have the case or in case you just want to try the highlighter or the lip and cheek product or the eye product everything is going to come with a cap okay so this is the lip and cheek product that i purchased separately so it has this protective lid so don't worry about that if you just don't want the whole set and you just want to try one of the products or two of the products they actually come with a lid now i'm going to insert some swatches of the products that i have in natural light so that you can see the colors i honestly like all of the products that i purchased i'm most impressed with the highlighter if you decide to purchase the product separately you can choose from five different eye ones and five different lip and cheek ones but the highlighters are only two and i have one of them i have the golden the golden one the gold highlighter and i have to say that this is my favorite product this is my number one product of all I adore this highlighter. It's so beautiful. It's so fine. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's creamy. It's buttery. I definitely, this is a product that I'm going to repurchase for sure because it's such a lovely stick highlighter. 
it's exactly the highlighter that I want and that I'm looking for. It just looks so incredibly natural on the face. It just makes the skin look very polished, but without visible shimmers. It is exactly the highlighter that makes your skin look, or at least makes my skin look better. It makes my skin look very cared for without looking like a highlighter. So this product, if you can get your hands on this product or if you are only to purchase one stick, I would say go for this gold highlighter because it is absolutely stunning. So this is the Chic Glow. And all of the products are made in Italy, if that matters. And then my second favorite product is the Date Night Lips and Cheeks Wand. This is such an elegant, gorgeous color for the lips and cheeks. And I already tried um, everything on my face yesterday and it wore very nicely. So the longevity is absolutely gorgeous. The blendability is stunning. This is really a kit that you can do your makeup in five minutes, like for real five minutes. It's very easy to use and you can blend these literally with fingers or with a brush. It doesn't really matter. It looks so natural and so beautiful. And this is exactly the kind of makeup look that I like to wear. So I'm very, very, very happy with my purchase. Now let's go ahead and try everything on my face. So I've already applied my foundation just to save a little bit of time. And on my skin, I actually used the Magic Serum from Charlotte Tilbury and the oil, a little bit of the oil. So I'm going to share with you my thoughts at the end of the video. But just to let you know, I have my foundation on and I have a little bit of tinted lip gloss, which I'm going to wipe now so that we can try the lip and cheek product on my lips. Yeah, actually yesterday when I was trying the products, the only products that I didn't try was the lip and cheek product. I tried it only on my cheeks. I didn't try it on my lips. So the lips is going to be for the first time. I'm going to be trying for the first time now. So the one that I'm using is date night. I'm going to show you also the other one. But you know what? I don't actually like to use this kind of wands on my lips and on my cheeks as well. So I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but I wouldn't use it actually. Okay, so it has this velvety um, kind of a feel on the lips, but my lips are very, very sensitive and quite dry. So that's why I prefer to have something more moisturizing on my lips. Um, it's not a bad product on the lips. It's just not my preference to use this kind of product on my lips and I would never use this as a lipstick. You could do that, but I know that if I do that, I'm going to have some breakouts on the face. I just like to keep those products very clean. Okay, so since I have two of the ones, this one is date night and this one is super chic. I'm just going to use one on one side of my face and then the other one on the other side. I'm starting with my favorite. My favorite is date night because it matches my skin tone so beautifully. And I'm just going to apply this straight from here and I'm going to blend it. I'm actually, might use a brush. I'm going to use a brush for the other side. This time I'm going to use just the one directly and then my fingers to blend because it's very easy Okay, so this is as much as I would like to use and as much as I would actually feel comfortable to use. I don't like to use a lot of blusher, but um, I think that it looks very, very good. This is definitely my favorite product, um, one of my favorite products from this uh, kit. And now you can probably see, I see myself on the viewfinder of the camera and I see that I literally look as if I have highlighter. I don't have highlighter. The foundation that I used was the Numero 1 de Chanel foundation. Uh, but before that, I actually tested the um, Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. And it this actually is what gave my skin this glow, all over glow, which I actually enjoy. I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera because camera usually, like in real life, usually things look a little bit different than they do on camera. On camera, maybe my skin looks oily, but in real life, it actually looks so gorgeous, alive and luminous. It doesn't look oily at all. I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera, but this is like, I just wanted to let you know why my face is so incredibly glowy. It's not a highlighter. So I'm going to use now one of my favorite refer brushes. This is number 24 and I'm going to be using the super chic lips. 
I'm taking the product just like that and then I'm going to apply it. So this one's super chic, it's a little bit darker and that's why probably um, I prefer the date night. Definitely the date night, I think. It's a better match for my skin tone. It's just my personal preference. But you can see how easy it blends. So you can use them on the go with fingertips or you can use them with a brush. You can see that they apply easily, very quickly. They blend without any efforts. Like there is no effort whatsoever when I'm blending the product. I can just apply it within seconds. And then for the highlight, I only have one highlighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it straight from here on this side. And look at that glow. You can also use it just with your fingers if you don't want to use the wand directly onto your face. You can just use your fingers and tap the product and it blends so beautifully. It doesn't move my foundation whatsoever, which is something very impressive. And then for the other side, I'm going to be using, again, a favorite brush. This is number 18, Refra. I'm going to write down in the description box the brushes that I'm using. I'm taking the highlighter straight from the bullet on the brush. I'm just going to tap here. So this is another option to use if you want. I just want to demonstrate today and that's why I'm using, <laughs> let's say a mixed technique, brushes and fingers. Because I know that a lot of you guys prefer to use brushes. I'm a person that often uses actually my fingers when I do my makeup, but I know that a lot of you prefer to use brushes. Okay, so this highlighter is wonderful. It is stunning. And again, once again, I'm repeating myself. If you're watching all of my videos, ignore this mark that's left from a spot. My skin is very sensitive and it easily gets pigmentation, even though it's pale and it's not supposed to get pigmentation that easily. I always get pigmentation when I have a breakout and this pigmentation stays for a long time. And once again, since I have two eye wands, I'm going to use one on one eye and then the other one on the other eye. Um, you can mix them if you have two wands, but I just want to show you the colors, how they look alone on my eyes. So this one on this side is date night and on this side is super fresh or was it pretty fresh actually, pretty fresh. So I'm starting with date night directly onto my eyelid. And then I'm taking a brush to blend this quickly. I'm actually going to take some of the product on the brush as well. Okay, so this here is date night. It's actually very subtle. I can build up the color if I want to, uh, but just keep in mind if you have very sensitive eyes, see, those of you who are following me, you know that I have huge problems with my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes. They easily get irritated. So this um, stick is actually, I wouldn't say it's too firm, but it's not soft as well. So if you have sensitive eyes, you just have to be careful um, because there you need a little bit of pressure to apply the product. They don't have any problems. It's not, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to me, but this actually could be a fraction creamier um, for people like me who have extremely sensitive eyes. But once again, I didn't experience any problems with this. It's just that I have to be more careful and more patient when I'm applying it. I don't want to push too hard. And to be honest with the, with this ones, I actually prefer to put them on a brush, get the color on a brush and then apply it to my eye. Because otherwise, if I start applying it directly from the wand, I need to push a little bit. And for someone with extremely sensitive eyes like me, this is um, not really, something that you want. Now, moving on to Pretty Fresh. Okay. 
Okay guys, so this is what I'm talking about when I say that I have very sensitive eyes. You can probably see now that my eyes got a little bit red. This is because I was applying directly from the stick, so I definitely need to use a brush to apply the, the eye product, the eyeshadow. So in case anyone from Charlotte Tilbury ever happens to watch this, this could be a little bit creamier for people like me who are extremely sensitive eyes and soul. It's very unpleasant to have such sensitive eyes, especially when you enjoy wearing makeup. So for like 95% of the people, this is not going to be an issue. But for someone like me, if you're someone like me with very, very sensitive eyes, just use a brush when you're picking up the product. Otherwise, you're getting this effect like I have now. I'm quite reddish eyes. Now about using those lip and cheek ones on the lips, I'm actually not a huge fan. As I said, I never like to use the same product on the lips and on the cheeks. This one, for my sensitive lips, it doesn't, it doesn't make them more... Like, I don't feel my lips dry right now, but I feel like I feel the urge to apply a lip balm. Exactly. That's the, the whole idea. I feel the urge to apply a lip balm. And let's go ahead and try actually now... Okay, so I'm going to try the super chic on my lips now. Okay guys, now I feel the need to powder my face, just the center of my face. But overall, I really like the glow that the Charlotte Tilbury oil gave to my face. And I'm actually probably going to purchase this one. Let me know if you've tried it and if you have used it. So I'm just... I barely have any powder on my beauty blender. But still, I need to tone down the shine and especially on the center of my face. And then on my lips right now, I have the super chic wand. I feel it's not, not drying. I wouldn't say it's drying, but I'm somehow used to those tinted lip balms that were released recently. And I'm used to having something a little bit more emollient on my lips. So I feel the urge to apply some lip balm on top. And that's why I'm actually going to use my Dior Tinted Lip Balm. This is Nude Look. I actually love this one. I love this one a lot. It's not going to change the color. I think that Okay, you can see it only has a hint of color. You can see that my arms are a little bit tanned. That's because I have been spending time outside and I wash my hands quite often. That's why I always wash the SPF that's on my hands. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to apply a little bit of this lip balm on top. That was just um, to feel a little bit more comfortable. And I'm currently taking a break from heat and all kinds of styling products. That's why my here is a little bit unruly here please excuse that but i just like to take longer breaks from heat now i'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara and i'm going to be back with my final thoughts and also i'm going to show you the swatches that i promised to show you in the beginning of this video okay so this is the finished look and now my final thoughts on this collection i absolutely love this release from charlotte Tilbury. i think that if you are like me and you love quick and easy makeup looks um, and that look quite natural. I think that you're going to enjoy these products a lot. Now, my recommendation is definitely going to be the date night kit. I think that this kit is beautiful and these are actually my favorite products. If you were to purchase the products separately, I would say that my number one product here is going to be the gold highlighter. I think that it's an exceptionally beautiful highlighter that can really elevate the skin. It makes the skin look very beautiful, polished and cared for and it doesn't emphasize fine lines, pores. It is a beautiful product that you can use on all parts of the face that you want to stand out. This is a gorgeous product. So it's my number one recommendation. It's the Chic Glow. And then my second recommendation, this is like a must have for me, is going to be the Lip and Cheek Wand. And this one is in Date Night. I think that the color is beautiful. I believe that if you have similar skin tone to mine, this is going to be like your perfect nude blush. I absolutely love it. Now, I have to be honest, I prefer not to use it on my lips. I prefer to use it only on the cheeks. It looks phenomenally beautiful. And my recommendation to Charlotte's team, in case they ever happen to watch this video, is going to be just to make the eye wands 
a little bit creamier and a little bit softer, but this is only um, so that people like me can just use them directly straight from the wand. But overall, I know that I'm going to be using this kit a lot. I really like the whole idea of this five minute makeup look in a little case. I think that the case is also very elegant and it has a mirror inside. I'm definitely going to be taking this with me when I'm traveling. And now, as I promised, I want to show you some swatches of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I'm able to show you six swatches. I have never tried the full-size product. Yesterday I tried it on my face and I have to say that number one fear looks beautiful as highlighter and I actually used a little bit of the deep, 6.5 deep, um, right here just on the sides as a little bit of contour and it looked beautiful. I am very tempted to get um, this one in full size. Let me know what you think if you have tried this product from Charlotte Tilbury. I have heard so many good and positive reviews but here I actually wanted to swatch them not to use them on my face and there is a little bit of product and what was left I tried on my face and it just sculpted my face in a very beautiful way. So I was quite happy with that. Then the other products that I wanted to show you is with this order actually came a mini size of the Crystal Elixir Serum. I thought that this bottle is so incredibly cute. I really like it. So I have tried actually this serum and I don't know why I decided not to review the serum here. I actually like it. I think that it's a very good serum packed with niacinamide and niacinamide is one of my favorite ingredients. It feels very light on the skin. It sinks into the skin immediately and you don't need a lot. Actually, a couple of drops are enough for the whole face. This is just like a booster, I would say. That's how... I was using it and I was quite happy with the serum. It is fragranced and this is the only downside for those of you who have very sensitive skin or if you're sensitive to fragrances in particular, that's the only downside. You can see that it has a white milky consistency that sinks into the skin immediately. I have a swatch here, let's disregard that. It doesn't feel tacky on the skin, but at the same time it moisturizes the skin quite well. I actually like the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury a lot. I think that it's a very beautiful product to use in the morning. Um, especially because makeup applies beautifully on top of this cream. So I'm a huge fan of the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have it right now, but in case you want to try it, yes, it's a good product. Then the serum, the only downside that I uh, see about the serum is that it is quite fragranced. But if you like skincare from Dior or Chanel, I think you're not going to have a problem with this one. It is exactly as fragranced as Dior skincare. And then for the first time now, I had the chance to try this collagen oil that she released a while ago and I was wondering if I want to try it or I don't want to try it. Overall I love facial oils and I find that they can make the whole makeup look a lot smoother in case for example you forgot to exfoliate your skin or your skin is a little bit more rough. I always like to apply a drop of oil and then it makes my foundation look a lot smoother. I'm actually quite impressed with this oil. The overall glow that it gave to my face, my face just with the oil and a little bit of foundation. It looked so beautiful and so glowy and alive and lovely. So the scent of the oil is actually very relaxing to me. It has a little bit of love. I think that I can smell a little bit of lavender and kind of essential oils. It's actually very relaxing. So I'm definitely considering to buy the full size oil to use just on my neck, decolletage, and sometimes maybe a drop on my face when I feel like my skin is a little bit more um, rough, has a more rough surface. <laughs> Very happy with that. Okay, so that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you've tried any of those products. I would love to know what you think, which ones are your favorites, would you recommend them? Let's go ahead and discuss. I always enjoy discussing with you so much and a lot of you have huge makeup collections and a lot of you are also makeup collectors and I always enjoy talking to you so much in the comment section. Thank you so much once again for taking the time to watch my video and for spending time with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.